We at PTU would like to welcome you to this short video tutorial. Today we will take a look at how we set up the B2 equipment for a TD measurement. We are looking at two equipment types that we have in our product range for such work tasks. First a test setup with an external TD unit, in this case with a HVA90 and a TD90MC. After that we will show you the measurement setup with a HVA28TD which has the TD measurement unit integrated. Please note that this tutorial is intended to provide a basic overview of a TD measurement setup. When carrying out measurements yourself, please always follow your country specific safety regulation as well as the B2 operating manual and the B2 safety manual. Now we show you the measurement setup with an external TD unit. Please be aware that this is just a theoretical measurement setup and no high voltage is applied here. We follow the steps given in the manual when setting up the system. Note that when meshing with an external TD unit, always ensure that the input and output of the unit are not reversed. In step 1 we connect the earthen cables. That includes the earthen connector of the HVA, the earthen connector of the TD unit, and the earthen connector of the DUT. In step 2 we connect the power supply cable to the HVA power supply plug. In step 3 we connect the HVA test lead. First screw in the HVA test lead into the HVA HV output connector. Then connect the HVA test lead to the TD unit. In step 4 we connect the TDMC with the DUT. For voltages from 50 kV we recommend to use Corona shields for TD diagnostic. In step 5 check that all cables are attached securely. In step 6 turn on the TD unit, then connect it with the laptop via Bluetooth. In step 7 turn on the main switch and then turn the key switch to the on position. In step 8 the HVA system automatically boots, the start up default screen appears and you're ready for the measurement. Now we show you the measurement setup with an internal TD unit. In this example we use the HVA28 TD. In step 1 we connect the earthen cables. That includes the earthen connector of the HVA. The earthen connector of the HVA test lead and the earthen connector of the DUT. In step 2 we connect the power supply cable to the HVA power supply plug. In step 3 we connect the HVA test lead. First screw in the HVA test lead into the HVA HV output connector. Then connect the HV test lead to the DUT. In step 4 check that all cables are attached securely. Please follow step 5 only if you are working with an HVA45 or an HVA34-1. Configure the interlock plug, verify that the HVA emergency adapter is connected. In step 6 for USB data transfer mode insert the USB flash drive. In step 7 turn the key switch to the on position. In step 8 the HVA system automatically boots, the startup default screen appears 
and you're ready for the measurement. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hv.com.